My name is Danielle Bowman, and I'm a workspace resident at Baxter Street Camera Club of New York. For me, it's really important to let like the pleasure of photographing guide the work because it's really easy for me to over intellectualize and try to, you know, understand what the work is doing before I even make it. So I'm really drawn to shadows photographically. And so usually I will just let myself photograph them. I wanted to try taking pictures of people's homes. I knew that that would, that would be a picture that I wanted to make. And I often don't work like that. I, I very rarely will have an idea for a picture before I do it. Usually I just, I know I have a, I'm drawn to a place and I just try to go there and, and shoot. But for this particular location, I knew exactly what I wanted. It reminds a lot of people of their childhood, not only because that carpeted staircase is really a relic from the past like 25 years, you know, from 25 years ago. People don't really do that anymore, I think. Um, but the, the vantage point is also the vantage point of a child going up the stairs. Texture is super important to my work. I've always been really interested in textures and showing textures. Um, I think that's part of the reason why I love black and white so much is because it shows texture really well. But it's an interesting challenge with photography because, you know, it's like, how do you... How do you show a texture in a picture? It's really hard to do, but I think it's real. I think when you when it works, it's really possible. Or really, you can really see it, and it makes you, if not want to touch the picture, it really, if it's done well, you really get a sense, and you can feel the thing in the picture. It's like it's a really weird experience which is weird to get feelings of texture from pictures, but definitely possible. I think it's important for it to not become about one person or like one family uh, or one place because I want there to be, you know, these people that I photograph, they're not all related. And I, I don't want it to, and they're not all related literally, but I want there to be like a sort of psychic connection or like psychic undertones amongst the pictures and amongst where I'm photographing. And so I think not showing people's faces is a way for me to not tie it down to one story or to one narrative.